Uh, good afternoon to everyone. I'm uh, Tero Hatti from Gesap Company, making a small introduction of, uh, of our desk wall system. And uh, as we have heard today, many presentations already that uh, there are more and more sources, more and more information at operator position in the modern control room. So uh, this is a solution that uh, in many cases it can be a problem. So uh, we at GESAP have been thinking about different kind of solutions after long period of development, uh, we create uh, a desk wall solution, and this is something that we are going to talk about a little bit today. Uh, but not only a presentation of the company, so I wanted to bring here Mr. Steve Lachard with me. He's uh, from SES company, and uh, he's going to tell a little bit about the uh, backward information of, of SES, and then uh, telling more about uh, the recent project that they made using this kind of dynamic uh, KVM solution. So please, Steve. Well, uh, my name is Steve Lachar. I'm a senior engineer and program manager at SES in Luxembourg. And um, uh, since almost one year now, we are operating uh, our new control room now based on the solution uh, that uh, GSAP uh, provides, which is this dynamic KVM uh, solution called also DeskWall. But before I come to the details, let me just briefly uh, introduce you to what we do, what is SES. So basically, SES uh, provides a reliable and secure satellite and ground operations uh, and communication solution. Um, and um, what, we, what we do is uh, that we broadcast uh, more than 8,000 uh, um, TV um, uh, services uh, from standard definition to ultra high definition and reach uh, more than one billion of people. Um, as um, you see, we also help to connect uh, many customers in many countries, um, and planes, ships, oil rigs, so basically um, um, connectivity. Um, we help also to restore connectivity after natural uh, disasters. And we also support telcos uh, with their 4G rollouts and uh, uh, connecting remote areas. So this is pr principally the main, uh, uh, the main uh, operations that we do. Um, leader in global content connectivity solutions. And basically what, we, what is quite unique is that we own and that we operate a unique fleet of 77 geo and meo satellites covering 99% of global coverage. We have more or less 2,000 employees in 20 locations worldwide and uh, have um, more or less 2 billions of revenues. So just to give you a little bit, uh, uh, a few pictures of our campus in uh, Batzdorf, Luxembourg. Uh, actually quite a nice place. So that was the administrative building. Here you see uh, a, a, a small portion of our earth station with the uh, many dishes. Uh, this is just a small part of it, so there are m uh, many more. And uh, now comes the interesting part. Um, obviously, to uh, monitor and to control all this traffic and all these services, we needed a control room. And uh, I was in charge two years ago to uh, design a brand new control room. And uh, well, basically, as it is a service-oriented uh, uh, operations that we do, this is also the reason why we call this new control room service management center. So, basically, what we do is uh, management of all the direct-to-home transmissions across the SES fleet, yeah. because this is uh, 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 still one of our biggest, uh, um, um, uh, uh, biggest operations that we have presently. So, typically, what we do is we maintain uh, service quality and availability of all the services. Uh, obviously, we also manage uh, the service contribution network, so uh, that's the network of uh, where we get all the services from. Um, obviously, also the hardware related to it, so the DVB and the IP platform management. Uh, occasional use uh, access. Uh, many customers require just uh, occasional use access to a satellite uh, for DSNG type of services, etc. So all that needs to be coordinated. 
And obviously, we are in close contact with our customers. Yeah? So customer support, whether they have problems, uh, uh, whether they need assistance, whether they need to uh, solve, uh, uh, getting a problem solved. So this is also one of the prime tasks that we do in this control room. And obviously, reporting as well. So obviously, with all these different tasks that we needed to do from this control room, um, we figured out that it was no longer possible to fulfill this uh, using a traditional control room design. Too many systems to access, too many monitoring systems, too many measurement devices, too many low-end devices, NMS systems, and too little console space. So we needed a radical new concept. And basically, what we decided to go for is that we didn't want to have any hardware anymore on the desks. So the desk should be completely without any hardware. Um, the operators in the, in the beginning didn't like that idea, obviously, because uh, they, 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 they like to, to, to be in control of their equipment. But if you want to be flexible, it's simply no longer possible. And this is the next point, total flexibility. So imagine that you can sit as an operator wherever you want, and basically you have access to everything that you need. And obviously, if you have access to all the systems that you need to fulfill your operations, you need desktop space to uh, be able to represent all the systems that you need to perform your operations. So we decided to go for a 24 megapixel total desktop space per seat in this control room. Obviously, this new concept uh, led to new ways to operate, and this is also thanks to this dynamic KVM solution that GSAP provided. New ways to operate. Um, well, as I said before, this desktop that you have, imagine that you can quickly recall a desktop, uh, depending on the use case. You have the customer on the phone, and uh, he requires you to do a specific task. With one mouse click, you recall that desktop with all the different applications that you need. Measurement systems, devices, uh, video feeds, whatever. Everything is being represented to you in a matter of seconds. Automatically, that means increased operational efficiency, a better customer service. And we know how important that is to have a happy customer. Flexibility, obviously. Because it is important that you can recall everything from everywhere. So every seat in the control room is equivalent. It doesn't matter whether you're sitting here or there. You just sit wherever you want to. You log in, and then the system displays basically the desktop that you, uh, that you need to perform your operations. And then, obviously, we all know, uh, once a system is getting installed, it already needs to be upgraded, expanded. Yeah? So you need a solution that is able to grow, that is able to uh, fulfill these expansion needs. Yeah? And that, if possible, at limited costs. Yeah? And last but not least, you also need a solution that is capable to work with physical systems as well as with virtual systems. So, I was talking about desktop workspaces. So I'll give you, I'll just show you a few, a few, a few uh, uh, pictures uh, uh, from the typical uh, uh, desktops that we that we have uh, in our control room. So this is now one uh, a large video wall in the background, and then here you see basically an operator with his uh, three uh, um, screens, and basically this dynamic KVM solution. Um, is an access machine that then provides to the operator access to all the systems that he needs to fulfill his operations. So we have here KVM sources, CPU systems, um, a main screen um, with some office representation, whatever, a feedback for some measurement uh, systems, video feeds. So everything the operator needs is being presented uh, uh, at a glance and recalled depending on the use case. So now the telephone rings, now the customer is on the telephone.
please, can you support me? One mouse click, and this whole thing changes in a matter of seconds. Another representation, this is more now Earth Station related. Here we have a 7 plus 1 representation here, as well as 7 plus 1 representation, peripheral systems being displayed uh, smaller, and uh, a main system being displayed a little bit bigger. Um, all this is totally flexible. You can arrange it as you want it. Um, and this is what makes this uh, solution um, very uh, attractive for the operators, because they can tailor it exactly to their needs. Another example, uh, a two by two representation, uh, main screen there as well, two by two representation. And you notice that we are mixing CPU KVM representations with video feeds, yeah, which is quite unique. And in our business, this is a must. Yeah? We not only need to see the results from, uh, from, from a measurement uh, uh, device, we also want to see uh, the video signal or the output of a spectrum analyzer. And another example. So again, a mix of everything, office as well. And um, I mentioned also before, uh, just right now office. Um, it is, very, it is very common that um, uh, in a complex environment that uh, the IT department wants to separate the office from the production network for security reasons, for instance. Um, and this is also what makes the system very attractive because um, we can connect to different networks, still being compliant to IT security constraints. So basically, via one system, we can access uh, production IT, office IT, video feeds, as I said before, everything. And everything is then available to the operator via one single interface. Obviously, before that, we decided to go with, uh, with uh, uh, GSAP's uh, uh, dynamic KVM solution. We started uh, uh, alternatives. Um, um, Many alternatives have been, have been analyzed. And what we, what, we, uh, what we concluded at the time uh, uh, where we went through these exercises is that uh, wh whatever we uh, evaluated, it was generating higher costs. Because uh, there, usually there was more hardware in, uh, involved with these solutions. So more KVM encoders, uh, um, uh, complex KVM matrices, et cetera, et cetera. So they were much more uh, hardware demanding. While here we have just a small application, um, um, a small device, basically, uh, which is then being installed in the, uh, uh, in the desks. Yeah. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, less flexible. Um, if, you want to, if you want to have this total flexibility, um, you quickly find out that many alternatives have, well, limited features. Um, they may have issues to communicate with virtualized systems. Uh, they may produce higher latency, higher lag. And uh, uh, operators, they don't want to operate uh, uh, a system with latency. This is OK if you operate it maybe 10 minutes a day. But if you are sitting 24 hours, seven days a week behind a console, which reacts uh, uh, slowly, it will, drive, it will drive the operators mad. And this is certainly not something that we, that we, uh, that we want. Indeed, lower user experiences. Yeah. And missing features. Uh, most of the alternatives had missing features. So uh, whether it wouldn't uh, support uh, one of these uh, things underneath, uh, something was always missing. And here we got a package where everything was there. Uh, and I think that makes this solution quite unique. So yes, we decided at that time to go for DeskWall, uh, GSAP's dynamic KVM solution. Um, in, in, in a nutshell, the reasons why? Well, as I said before, DeskWall runs on a small appliance. Yeah? It produces almost no noise. Um, 
due to the fact that it is a, low, uh, a small appliance, uh, low uh, heat dissipation, so it can be installed in an existing desk, in an existing console. You don't need to worry about extra cooling, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so that also further reduces the cost of implementations. Um, desk wall can connect to physical devices, it can connect to virtual devices, to low-end devices, to virtually anything. Um, it's, and I think this is, this, is, this is the particularity of the, of, of the solution. Basically, the operators have a unified platform for CPU, KVM, and video representations. So whether you want to display on your uh, a workspace uh, an office um, um, source, uh, f a source from a physical uh, CPU source, or, or from a virtual, or uh, even KVM signals, um, or video streams, everything can be done via this solution. And I think that is, that is, that is quite unique, and, and, uh, and uh, that was one of the key requirements uh, for this control room, because we wanted to be completely free of hardware, all IP-based, and uh, be as flexible as possible. Obviously, low cost of growth and ownership, this is quite uh, important. Um, if you need to add systems, we all know that uh, uh, the more customer you get, the more operational uh, 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 constraints that you get, you will need to add systems in the back end. And um, you need to have um, you need to have a solution that is in that can grow. You know? So basically, here, if you, I mean, in our control room, we now have access to more or less uh, 400, 400 different systems. Um, if tomorrow 50 new systems will be added, whether it's going to be measurement systems, monitoring systems, antenna control systems, whatever, it's just a matter of configuration. You just add them to the list of systems that you want to connect to. That's it. So there are no heavy extra costs involved in this. Uh, and, uh, and then it's easy to use. The system has been designed having the operator in focus. Yeah? And that was a crucial point for us. We wanted to have pleased uh, um, operators who are uh, basically enjoying their work. Uh, that they, that they, that we didn't want to put an additional burden on them. Yeah? And Indeed, it is very, very easy to use. And it's easy to expand. As I mentioned before, you add systems, it's just a matter of configuration. It can not be more easy than that. And last but not least, uh, uh, the price tag is also an important factor, we all know. And uh, at the time that we analyzed all the alternatives that we had on the table, it was the most competitive uh, and most flexible solution. So that is what made us to decide to go uh, for desk wall. Well, gentlemen, I hope I could share a little bit uh, my enthusiasm uh, that I have for desk wall with you. Um, and uh, I thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you, Steve. I will, I will continue a little bit more about uh, telling few, not repeating the same story, but telling a little bit about the up and what we do. So uh, we are a control room solution supplier. So basically when people ask you, what are you really doing? So we, we do concept, design of control rooms, everything what is involved in that area. Plus, of course, manufacturing of, uh, of technical furniture and then add on turnkey solutions uh, plus the latest uh, that has been already a few years with us, the Deskwall solution. Uh, company has been already in the market almost 30 years, uh, which of course gained a reputation in the market. And uh, we have been serving many, many international customers, uh, well known like uh, NASA in the States, and uh, large scale projects, smaller. It's uh, very flexible in that point of view. We are based in uh, Madrid and Barcelona in Spain. Also having our own offices, Mexico and uh, Colombia. But uh, through our partnership, we are truly global company. So we have been doing projects all over the world. Like we all know that control rooms has changed uh, 
dramatically last year, so it's uh, adding a lot of new sources. In the past, adding a source mean, meant a new screen, new keyboard, key, new mouse control devices. Uh, this is a thing that, okay, we have uh, been involved in a lot of these kind of projects. Recently, then, uh, we know that, okay, there's a lot of work to be done in the virtual, um, let's say, uh, virtual checking, how to, how to make all these uh, uh, virtual ergonomic parts much more effective for the operator. And it's, at the same time, having a solution that gives operator more dynamic, ergonomic, flexible solution then to work, to be more effective. So all these different factors came together and uh, where we got the input then to, uh, to work with the SQL solution, saying that uh, it's a solution that is available today, but it had been thinking about tomorrow's uh, work environment. And what we would always like to say is that uh, using SQL is, is more than a, a device itself. It's, uh, it's an intuitive experience. It's uh, for the worker, for the operator then to enjoy the work, improve the efficiency and, uh, and win that way of, uh, of the solution. Part of uh, desk wall itself also, we have a, a data wall concept. It's, uh, it's a concept itself then to combine the large scale videos, video walls, either different kind of technologies. It can be uh, yeah, LED cubes, uh, whatever is coming in the future. Uh, displays, uh, electronics, and the software itself. All this um, making us a bridge, come to a, then a uh, conclusion, what is desk wall, what desk wall can add then to the data wall, including uh, smart consoles, which we think that the future, also the desk are going to be more sufficient, more intelligent, recognize the operators, uh, adjust for their needs. And this uh, all together, together with IoT things, domotic, uh, is coming to the ecosystem that uh, we are pushing at, uh, at GESAP to be in the future. Few images about desk wall. It's uh, like uh, what uh, Steve already said about a lot of functionalities, easy to use, extremely flexible, and uh, very much operator oriented system. So uh, it's, uh, it's always the situation that we don't want to complicate uh, the existing control rooms, operators' lives. So this has to be a really an add on in the terms that uh, make sense and makes the makes the system more efficient. Uh, in, uh, I still recommend and uh, suggest then to, to come over. We have a small demo here also, if you have a chance to, to visit our mini booth and to see uh, desk wall in line, live environments. Uh, a little bit about the benefits and the results. I think uh, back to Steve. <laughs> well, I think uh, um, from what I said before, uh, uh, the results and benefit for us uh, um, is clear. We have uh, uh, an improvement of operational efficiency and, uh, and we have um, clearly faster reactions to customer needs. So that automatically means a better customer service. And um, as I said before, we all know how important it is nowadays to have happy customers. Yeah. Um, so better support to our customers and, um, and then, indeed, uh, due to the fact that everything is so flexible, um, we have an improvement of the visual ergonomics um, of the operators. The operators do not need to switch seats uh, or to look up or down or whatever in order to be able to fulfill their operation. They just, well, uh, uh, stay where they are and they can recall all the systems that they need to perform their tasks. So this is quite a tremendous gain uh, 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 in, uh, uh, in ergonomics uh, and resulting, as, as I said before, in uh, increased uh, uh, operational benefits and uh, better customer services. Okay, about I the future trends. <laughs> okay, so here we we put some uh, some messages, some uh, keywords, takeaways from uh, from this presentation. So uh, yeah, a lot of things we have already explained. Uh, tell so is uh, is not uh, no need to repeat the same messages. But really, I think it's the, the point to easy to use flexibility, customer orientation. Uh, 
possibility to grow. So these are the messages that uh, collaborative uh, possibility to grow. So it's uh, these kind of things that uh, the, the key words. But also uh, one point that is, uh, is important is uh, always the operator's health and uh, ergonomics. A part of the visual ergonomics that uh, through desk wall it's, it can be adjusted uh, fairly easy way. Uh, there is also the operator's uh, health, so we have an application inside of our system which reminds uh, operators to do some uh, physical exercise. From um, It can be programmed every hour, every two hours. And we all know that normally control room environment, uh, the working position are quite static. So with this reminder, it also uh, gives an uh, extra plus to the system and to the operator's health. What is in the future then? Uh, touch management, voice, uh, voice management, uh, all these kind of different control units, yes, these are coming. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a system, it's a question of time. What uh, also thinking about the desk wall mobile solution, so with what we see also in the previous uh, presentations is that if there is operator on field, so uh, we, can, uh, we can have these kind of systems then uh, in the market. Plus what is uh, a smart desk wall, all the devices are getting smarter and smarter, so uh, it's also uh, the future trend for us. A lot of things are in our roadmap, so it, uh, there will be a lot of new things coming then uh, from the desk wall concept. Thank you very much. I hope you, did, you like it. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much indeed. Um, do we have any questions? Uh, for our friends from SCS or Kasab. Oh, this has been so disappointing. I've just wanted to throw this at, honestly. No one wants to ask a question. Now I've got a block thing in my hand. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, if they okay. haven't got any questions, then I would just like to say thank you very much indeed for the time. Uh, very nice presentation. Lovely to see SES getting involved in all this stuff. It's uh, fantastic uh, to have all of this coming at us from you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank, you thank you. Thank you.